Kabir. Now I am going to show combined footing design in SAFE 2016. There are few ways to design in SAFE. One of them is by exporting reactions from EFABs, which one I have shown in previous tutorials. Now I will show only combined footing design by direct modeling in SAFE, not exporting from ETABS. Let's see. First, we will analyze the ETABS model to get foundation reaction. Let's analyze. During analysis, it will take some time. Now we have uh, go we can get the foundation reaction. We'll see for dead load. We will design for uh, these two foundation nodes as a combined footing. This node is having 475 kilonewton dead load and this 96 node has having 725 kilonewton load so as per our uh, foundation reaction we can make a preliminary layout like this with our manual calculation so now i will design this this combined footing in safe so i will separate this one this let's make it horizontal so this is the combined footing and the column position So this is uh, this we have got for our modeling in SAFE. Let's start the software SAFE. Open with it uh, as a combined footing. We can redesign, we can change the design code which one we need. I will show here for SAI 318 2014 units. Units, this is fine for me. Let's start. <coughs> Left edge distance as I have done here. 0.6 meter right edge direction 1.1 top edge 
there from 1.2 bottom is also 1.2 load is facing and uh, side so x direction is facing is 2.5 2.5 the loading size we can provide here as the column size but this is not our uh, square size so we can skip this one keep it as any value 300 or like this load one load one is dead load this one 475 and 725 Live, we will check the live load. This one live sixty five and ninety. ninety. Putting thickness and uh, here we are considering six hundred. Okay, we will check it later and subgrade modulus we will calculate in SI unit subgrade subgrade modulus calculation we are here we will have design with the SI unit so safety factor we can consider here for for cohesive soil 3 allowable bearing capacity Mm, we can consider it 150 here whatever it comes from the soil report we have to consider that so here putting this we are getting the modulus of subgrade reaction k is 18,000 kilonewton per meter cube this is the formula for SI unit 40 fact into factor of safety into allowable bearing capacity so we will put this one 18,000 ok this is our combined footing model now we will we can delete this and we can apply the uh, we can apply the point load because that is not our correct foundation size and the load area <coughs> now let's first fit this model Find material properties concrete thirty grade steel. We can consider it a five forty six grade. We will define we will define the column column area as we skip concrete. P one this is this this thickness as well as the foundation thickness.
see one. No. Just give balance and left set. This one is twenty seventy. So this this one and this one can be aligned same as the real condition. Thirty four degree, we can rotate. We can rotate. This one is 34 degree. Edit, replicate, radial, 34 degree. Delete original one. This one. Now this one. Edit, replicate, radial, 34. Same as this one. Not like this. This one radial x ordinate. This one is uh, two point five meter. Like this. So this is our actual condition. Now we will see where is obviously load has been deleted as we have deleted the columns. Let's see check. Now there is column load show the load visually. So here we see the load handler has not been deleted. So this is good for us. Show the live load. This is the live loads. We will make the load combination for design. Dead load. As we consider 10% more loading for the safety for the calculation of uh, foundation area that will check the soil pressure. So this is our condition. Now we will uh, we will customize the mesh size. in the run we will get the automatic slab mesh option we will mesh it uh, 0.5 meter approximately so now we can run the analysis This is the condition. 
now first we will check the soil pressure as if, as if the foundation area is okay or not let's check Let's check the soil pressure. Display reaction process. Here is the soil pressure option. We check it from the for the surface load combination. Take this one. So here is the Sixteen is one seventy four or six is one sixty five for our consideration the allowable bearing capacity was one fifty. So you have to increase the foundation size. We will have increase the area in this way. Again, we will run the MMC. It has been reduced from 165, now 156. So we can increase in this side also. Again, we will check. Now, here it is below the 150. So, this area is okay now. Now, we will check the punching shear. So, the thickness is okay because the punching shear is showing that. It is uh, below one, so we can also reduce the thickness. Let's reduce the thickness. This is the footing. Geometry, six one. Define the properties. Footing, this one. Make it five hundred. Now check the punching again. So this is okay. For punching, now we will go for design. Design combo. Now we can check the reinforcement. 
uh, as for as we have not uh, assigned this strip we will say the finite fin uh, finite element method for design here this is the bottom m percent direction one bottom this is the reinforcement required with the bottom paper at the top this is the condition this is the condition at the bottom in direction 2 this is the condition we can uh, assign a strip and we can check the reinforcement So this is the uh, 1.2 1.2 strip we can start with and delete draw another one from this side right side now it will be 1.1 1.1 1 .1. this is 1.25 1.25 Yes, we can change the snap option. It will draw snap option. Intersection, bit, fine bit, edges, perpendicular, etc. It will be easier for drawing the st strip. Now we can run the analysis and design. Check the reinforcement. This is the top reinforcement for their end. This is the top. This is the bottom for layer B. This one is bottom for. Say the top top minimum reinforcement for layer A. Check it. This is the top. This is the bottom. So we can uh, design in this way in safe uh, combined footing, and also we can show the 
number of bar and size top we can provide 12 the bottom we can provide 14 or 16 whatever you want apply top none bottom 7 11 this is the number showing so in this way you can design a combined footing in safe 2016 as well as previous versions also